You know, I guess it's kind of blue. It is blue. I know, it looks more grayish to me. Are you colorblind? Well, the rhino is more blue than she is. Oh, the rhino's more gray. You see, now, I think she's kind of like a blue, maybe like a robin's egg. Maybe a robin's egg blue. I could, I could see that. It's blue. In any case, I, I didn't think Russian blue would actually be the color blue, because that's just stupid. This is a kid's game. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, just... <laughs> It's a kid's game. Of course it's going to be stupid. That's, that's like saying Christian Grey is gray in color. I don't even know what that color is. 30 shades of gray. What? What? You don't follow pop culture? They're making a movie now. They just released a trailer recently. I don't know what they're going to release it in, but I can guarantee I'm not going to watch it. Me neither. Hello and welcome back to Gaming Airlines. This is your co-pilot Andy speaking and your main pilot Billy. And we're continuing our trek through the horrors of Spy Fox in Dry Cereal. And we're about to talk to this chick who totally is not blue. She is a gray color. She is blue. Look, cats are not blue. Next thing you'll be saying is hippos are purple. But there is a purple hippo. Shut up. Now we're going to talk Make to her now. Me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> hey, actually, wait. Can you, can you get some punch first? I'm a bit thirsty. You know, considering that punch bowl just ate, this, ate the ladle, I'm going to say um, I, I, don't, I don't really want any punch. Let's talk right. to this cat yeah, right. who so, is blue. Okay. He's saying that's Russian blue because she's Hello. blue. You must be Russian blue. Well, no fuck me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As much as I know you'd enjoy it, you're just not my type, man. Mm -hmm. Well, she just... Ugh. Why are you staring at me like that? Those eyes! Why are you staring at me like that? Why are you staring at me like that? The tango. Ah! Because... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Oh, uh, well, he looks. Hey, I'm, I'm Gang sure. Gang hot into the color like that. I'm sure the fan fiction people are gonna go crazy with this pairing. I can just imagine. They already did. Blech. I I know exactly. If I'm ever looking up Russian blue dressing, I'm not going onto Google Images. This place is no point. Um, it's for a different um time when you do a playthrough of this. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. It's different every time you play through. Yeah. That that's an interesting idea I like about the game. Something that would be that'd be cool if like say a Monkey Island game or something. It swapped it up, like doing that different times. That'd be good. Yeah, like um. Oh, I know where we need to go to again. Okay. Well, I guess we need to talk to random people about um. Unless you know, unless you're me. Whoa! You can go into the cantina. You said again. Ah. I'm ah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Like, is that is that supposed to be like a B. Arthur ripoff? Right. Thanks, B. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know B. Arthur. Actually, it's funny if you actually see uh, the, you know, you've heard of the Star Wars Holiday Special? Oh yeah. The Tango really swings. Oh, I get it. You have to ask him about Russian blue. So yeah, we gotta talk to him. Excuse me. This guy's what weird. Stop. 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 What? Russian blue. Do you know her? That cat tangles like there's a note tomorrow. I'd love to somehow try How fatalistic. To this Russian blue. I'm sure Monkey Penny could help me out on that. Oh. Well, that was easy. Huh. But well, we do gotta get well, the tango sheet music from him, and I know how to do it. Um, punch him in the face and take it. As Who's much as I love to, this is a kids game, and most people don't, and most parents would not be happy <laughs> about physical violence in a kids game. Oh, um, okay. Did you have that prepared for me? Russian That's all we got. <laughs> Oh my. Operator of the NN Deadwood. Head of Public Relations for NOG. Close associate of William McKinnon. 
Oh, oh no! Oh no! We nearly tangoed with her! Is it untangled? <laughs> Dancing with intent to tango. JJ tangoing, tangoing out of season. Uh, I want to know, like, what, what, what are the, uh, what are the sentences for these things? Yeah. Russian blue for successfully tangoing. You are sentenced to death by tango. Oh, you just had to yell that in my ear, you douche. Uh, uh, uh. We'll, we'll edit that out in post. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Who? What? Walter Wireless. Why is there... What? Wait, what? Wait, okay, so we're gonna put him on Russian Blue while we're tangoing with her. Okay, I follow... It's weird, it's like if you start... If I jumped into this midway, I'd be so confused. But I guess once you start following the game's crazy logic from the beginning, it just you just kind of pick up on the madness. What we gotta do is steal the waltz. Oh, I, I see. I see. Okay. All right. <clears throat> are, what are we gonna do? Trade it? <laughs> yeah, we gotta trade I, I it for the tango. Cause mm -hmm. remember, like you said, the tango is the only sheet music he has. Yeah. Can we just ask the person if he can do the tango? Like, maybe he knows it off the top of his head. No, he doesn't. Oh, that's bull. All right. <laughs> that bear. What can I get you for, you sweetheart? Hey, what would you think about playing something a little lower than a chain? Like I told you, Matt, I was the goodbye girl. Well, so, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, Tango extravaganza Honestly, dude, Tango is the only music sheet you brought with you. Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Eh. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, uh, why does he have a shoe on his head? You are beautiful. Uh, I don't know. I think that's supposed- I think that hair is trying really hard- the, the hair's trying really hard to be a headpiece. But it just looks like a shoe. Mm -hmm. Also, that pig's fat. I don't think he yeah, can you get I think I don't think you can ever get him out of there. Um, do you want a slight spoiler? No. No, I want to be surprised. Happy hour from 5 to 7. Oh, yeah. Yep, and uh, now I just got to uh, slip the tango. Yeah, the way you say that sounds like we're slipping a drug into the music drink. You know what? That punch from earlier, that was pretty frightening. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just looking. <laughs> we gotta get the timing right, which is which is which always bugged me about the original. Okay. Alright, right now. Go. Go now. Go. You stop that now. <clears throat> okay, okay. I thought one of the pages was about to fall. Good cover. Okay. Alright, so when he's looking at it, click it. Go. There we go. Ah, there we go. What did the music watch, change watch all of a sudden? Ayo. What? Oh my. Uh, this this is kind of creeping me out. Oh my goodness. Ugh, I, I don't. Ma'am, are you <laughs> are you coming on to me? I think she is. That's so weird. This is so odd. Okay. <laughs> Uh, was the parachute really necess necessary, sir? Yes. Yes, okay. it was. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Now, please stay away from me. I love to <laughs> so you now said. To to some Thank you. That's it? <laughs> well, yeah. She was just like, I'm going to wait here until I hear some tango music. Then I'm going to take care of my important Well, she would business. stick around if you forgot to put him in. And that just sounded even worse than my usual jokes. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. So, what do you do for a living? Or, perhaps. Hi, Monkey Penny. What? Yep. Mata Harry? 
special spy report. Ooh. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. Okay. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. So you said. Ago, All Russian right. Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped into her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We've just taken a sharp left. You know, now right. driving like it's a the fact that I'm watching a spy watch with a satellite spinning around on it. And I'm watching, so watching a spy network where a flea is currently reporting news about a blue cat driving down the highway. This is Walter Wireless signing off. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I guess you're, I guess you're out of the job. Yeah. You sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. This is. I'll have it waiting oh for my you goodness. Town Square, just behind the mobile command center. Mm, you better uh, hurry. Walt was one of our best field mice. And well. Forget <laughs> about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. Oh, so I much to do. Spy box what? Out. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. This is the most outlandish thing ever. This is oh my. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we gotta go and make and get Andy to an asylum so we can, you know, help him regain his sanity. So, this is Billy. I'll see you guys next time. Oh. Peace. Oh my goodness, this is the most outlandish thing ever.